today I'm unboxing my new Smith pads. Yay! So, I got my Smith pads in the mail today. I bought these ones off of Amazon. I was gonna buy them from the skate shop, but honestly I got um, a little bit too impatient because I've been skating for a little bit now. And even though I had my own temporary DIY pads, if you haven't seen that video, go look at it. Um, even though I have those pads, I wanted some real pads because I'm starting to do like harder tricks where I'll fall more. So like for example, I've been doing more handstands, cartwheels. I'm tired of having all of these bruises on my legs. It's painful and I just thought it'd be a good time since I've been skating every single day about two hours now for the last week and a half. So here we are. I've got my Smith pads. Ordered them off Amazon. They're about 40 to 45 dollars and this is what they come in. I like that they come in a little net because I think this is actually going to be a bag that you can keep. When it's sewn on here like that, I was trying to make sure that whenever I took it off it wouldn't unrip the bag. But you don't have to go through any of this at all. You can just unzip it through here. But I'm going to do it just because it bothers me to have this like wood wood cardboard part of this on. It's like a kid on Christmas morning, open the case. Okay, I pull it pretty hard right there, so if it rips, then I have to resell it. So, so tight, you can pull it pretty hard. So, good to know, in case anybody else buys this. Okay, so that's super neat. They actually come in this little baggie, so that's super cute. Unzipping the bag, you got your pads. I ordered the size small. So the pad's about the size of my face. I'm 5'2", just for reference. I can put my measurements in the description below. That way you guys can get a good idea of whether or not the small pads actually fit. It also comes with some stickers, which I thought was super cool. So if you like stickers and you put them on your computer or anything like that, they're pretty sick. Pretty steez, pretty sick, pretty tack, pretty cool, pretty tight. Anyway. That's such a satisfying sound, like. <laughs> okay. So. There's some ASMR, dude. That was really unsatisfying. I kind of pull it. There we go. So there is two parts. I just realized it. So there's the first part, which you can decide whether or not you want to Velcro your pads on. And this is the knee pad I'm talking about. And then there's a second part where you can just slip through. You can do both if you want for extra security, but I guess you can always just choose to opt out of the um, sleeve version if your leg maybe doesn't fit or if you just want to adjust it. Checking to see if that's the same on the wrist guards, it's going to be more Velcro on the wrist guards. And then on the elbow pad, it's going to be the same idea. You can do both. You can do both the Velcro and the pull through. Okay, so trying on my knee pads. That's my dog. Come here, Hopper. You'll be in the video. This is my fat dog, Hopper. He's not the cutest, but I kind of love him. He's 15 years old. Now he's coughing. <laughs> I'm not laughing because he's coughing, but he has a collapsed trachea, rip copper. Um, he's fine. He just coughs sometimes. Go, go, go. Okay, so sliding them through, they're kind of tight, but I think that's a good thing because they're not overly tight to where I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> I don't know why he's doing that. But I, I would like them to loosen just like slightly, slightly, slightly. Like they're a little tight, but I think they'll give whenever I wear them in a bit. Yeah, so this Velcro strap for me like doesn't want to go quite all the way. It barely makes the cut, so it's a little tight on me. It's not uncomfortably tight, but it's definitely noticeable that they're there. Okay, so when I put all the other pads on, I'll come back. So, I have all the pads on, and what I'm curious to know is are they gonna be able to give me a little bit of wiggle room over time? I'm gonna wear them for a little while and let you guys know how they perform. I'm not sure that I'm loving how tight they are on my legs. I'm gonna see what I can do about that and whether or not they give over time. I feel really cool in them, I'm not gonna lie. I like that they're all black. I feel like because of that, I'm gonna be having a little bit more confidence to fall. And since I'll have more confidence to fall, I'll probably have more confidence to try harder things. 
But yeah, that's all I have to say today. Hopefully I'm gonna be able to rate them really well and they're gonna give me good support, but I'll check back in with you guys maybe next week or so after I wear them a few times. This is just like my little unboxing. Hope this helps. I'm gonna put my measurements in the description box below. Let me know what kind of pads you use and I'll talk to you next week or the next video or whenever you want if you leave me a comment. Bye! Oh, and love Lauren.